so students i hope you have watched the first part of this video and uh, we have discussed the vocabulary related to this lesson in that part and also uh, a video in which we came to know that there are three main units of length and that is inch foot and yard so on page number 693 lesson 12.1 the problem your thumb is one inch long use your thumb to find three objects that are each about one inch long so what does this mean this mean as we discussed in the vocabulary that this part of your thumb is about one inch long how if i take a ruler and this is the inch side of the ruler and i place my thumb on it so you can see it's about one inch it's about one inch long so you have to choose different items with the length as one inch for example i can choose this clip or i can use anything that is one inch long from zero to one only one inch long so i have to draw three things in this part which is about one inch long. So look around, search for the things that are equal to one inch, about one inch, and then draw them here. And likewise, you have to draw things which are about one foot long in this column. One foot is equal to 12 inches. This is a feed and it has 12 inches on it. It is starting from zero and it has 12 inches so this is one feet okay so you have to look around and search for the things that are equal to one feet for example if i want to draw this book for example i can draw this book this is also equal to one feet long approximately okay so here are some examples for you for example, in the inch column, you can draw a stamp, a uh, eraser or a toy like this. And this is also a kind of a stamp. And in one foot column, you can draw a book, a bag, a laptop, which is approximately equal to one foot long. What about the next page? On the next page, we have three columns objects object whose length i know okay and then we have to estimate the length of these objects by using the objects whose length i know for example i have to measure the length of this pencil right but i will not use this ruler or any kind of measuring tape i have to use the objects so what i will use because foot is too long for a pencil so i will use a paper clip and then you will take any pencil and you will measure it with the paper clips how many paper clips do you need to measure one pencil so my paper clip is one inch long we already know and so my pencil is about whatever is your estimate you can write. so in question number two i have to measure the desk now the paper clip is too short to measure the desk so what can i do i cannot use ruler i cannot use measuring tape i have to use the object whose length i know so what i will do i will use my book I will use my book which is one foot long to measure the desk in my table or in my bedroom which I use for study. So here you can write my book is one feet long and my desk is about again it's different for all you will measure your desk with your book and you will see how many feet long your desk is. 
so here are some sample answers if your answers are different so it's totally okay because we are estimating and it could be different for everyone everyone's uh, pencil is not of the same length everyone is not having the desk of same height so it could be different now what do we have on the next page again there are some objects for example here is a hand I have to measure the length of my hand from end to end we discuss in the vocabulary that from end to end this is the length so I have to measure the length of my hand and I have to use the object. So again, foot is too long for the hand. Yard is longer, greatest for, to measure the hand. So what I can use is the paper clip. I'm giving you an example that you can use your paper clip. You know it is one inch long. So you can use this to measure your hand okay so how many inches long your hand is then sample answer my paper clip is one inch long we know and my hand is about six inches long if your answer is different it's totally okay because all of us are not having the same length of the hand okay Question four, you have to measure your chair. Again, paper clip is too small to measure the height of your chair. I can use my book because I know my book is one feet long. So you have to measure your chair with your book. Let's see the sample answer. My book is one feet long and my chair is about four feet high. Again, this could be different for you okay question five would you estimate the distance from your classroom to the principal's office in inches feet or yards explain so just think of your classroom and the principal office what do you use to measure the length from your classroom to the principal's office do you prefer using the paper clip inches you will measure in inches from your classroom to the principal office or do you prefer using a ruler that is equal uh, to 12 inches one foot you will use one foot okay feet to measure the length or you prefer to use the yards to measure the distance from your classroom to the principal office so just think and let's see what I have. I could use yards because inches or feet would take much longer to measure. Inches are too small and likewise feet also and the principal office is far away from your classroom. So we need something longer. To measure the distance faster so we will use yards and we all know that one yard is equal to how many feet we studied in vocabulary one yard is equal to yes it's three feet very good so next page we have vocabulary complete the sentence using one of the words below and the words given are exact estimated and inch and the blank is and dash measurement is a good guess guess there is word guess so we discussed in vocabulary what is mean by guess exact estimated or inch what is a guess yes very good and estimate measurement is a good guess and estimate measurement is a good guess okay question seven joy and kylie estimate the height of their classroom joy estimates the height to be 10 feet and kylie estimate the height to be 10 yards who has the better estimate explain 
so just think 10 feet is the correct estimate to measure the height of your classroom or 10 yard what do you think who is correct joy is correct or kylie is correct whose estimate is better yes joy says she's about four feet tall you can measure your height by the way you can measure how tall are you and then you can estimate that what is the height of ceiling of your classroom or your bedroom so joy says she is almost four feet tall so two of her could reach the ceiling so joy has the better estimate question eight a city wants to build a bridge over the river should they plan out an exact length of the bridge or is an estimated length good enough explain so there is a river they want to build a bridge over the river so that people can cross the river by walking on that bridge so what do you think they should do they should estimate they should guess the length of the bridge or they should exactly measure before building the bridge what do you think and why do you think is that yes they should plan the exact length so that the bridge is long enough to cruise cross the river okay question nine is assessment you will do this question yourself you have to draw the lines to match the boxes with the items so in the first box it is about one inch the second box is about one foot and the third box is about three feet so this is book a stamp and umbrella so you have to draw the line a book is about one inch one foot or three feet and so on thank you so much for watching the video and i hope you learned the concepts and you are ready to do your homework i have uploaded an online assessment for your homework so log into your Pearson account and solve the homework